Okay, guys, I need your listening ears on. Today's going to be a big day. I'm hoping that we're going to be painting. But think about engineers during this project. An engineer could be someone that builds a bridge. Think about the things that a bridge builder would have to consider. How fast the cars are going, how high is the bridge, what's below the bridge, is it the ocean, or is it a little tiny puddle? So go ahead and raise your hand. What are some things that a bridge designer has to think about? During these instructions, I need voice level zero because I'm going to be giving you painting instructions. These are important and I don't want you to miss anything. We have been studying Claude Monet. He was a painter that is no longer alive, but he was known for doing Impressionism. Impressionism means he did little spots of color. He could have done stuff that was really realistic, but it almost looks abstract, but it's very beautiful. He was an Impressionist painter. He is no longer alive, like we said, but you can still go and visit his house and see the beautiful gardens that he created so that he could have all these beautiful paintings. Hi, first grade. I'm excited to see you today. Hopefully you picked up your artwork. In a moment, I'm gonna have you guys come up and pick up a placemat, a paper towel, and a paintbrush. Listen carefully today. Today, we'll be doing a little bit of painting. If you were not here last time, what we did was we took a rubbing plate, we took our cool colors, which includes blue, greens, and maybe some purples too. We took the rubbing plate underneath paper and we made a design for our water. We are going to be creating a Monet River. Later on, we're going to add a bridge. Just make sure if you were not here or if you did not do it, that you write your name in the bottom left-hand corner. We also have our class code, which goes on the right side of our paper. Before I let you go get your supplies, like your placemat, paintbrush, and paper towel, I am giving everyone their warning now. You will be silent during these directions because this is important. If you miss a step, you could misuse a material or make a mess, which could cause someone to get hurt. We are not sharing materials. Every person's gonna have their own. Here's how I like it. Here's how it must be done. If any of these expectations are not followed, you will not be able to paint today. If you understand, say yes, yes. When you come up and get your placemat, paintbrush, paper towel, here's what I want when you get back to your table. You're going to put your art on top of your placemat. The placemat is to protect the table from water and paint. I like your paper towel on top of your artwork and your paintbrush on top. Should you be playing with your paintbrush? Should you be smashing your paintbrush against the paper? Should you be touching anything on your table? The answer is no. I'm going to go through these directions for today. If you do not pay attention or listen, you will not be painting. I'm gonna go over painting expectations. Here's a good idea. If you have your bag and it's taking up a lot of space on the table, you might wanna put it on the floor. Unless you're one of those people who are still coloring their background and getting those textures in there, you might still be coloring with crayons today. Everyone else should have a clear table. You can put your bag on the floor. Today, as you're watching these directions, I'm gonna be putting some things on your table. There are some things that I want you to keep in mind. You have a cup of water. You might also have a paint tray. Do not touch these as I put them out. In order to keep each other safe this year and make sure we're not exchanging germs, there's some very clear expectations that I need to go over with you. So if you are at a table with a partner, I'm going to open up your tray for you and you're gonna have two sets of the same colors. Notice that these are the cool colors, green, purple, and blue. Those are what we are using today. If you're using a cup of water, I'll put it in between you and your partner. That way you don't have to pick it up. The only person that will be picking things up is me. And then I'm going to sanitize these every single day. So it's so important that you follow these directions. Like I said, if I put something on your table and the directions are on like they are right now, you should not touch them. However, when you are ready to paint today, you're gonna to be sharing this with your partner. However, we're gonna keep it in between. So let's say I have a partner over here I'm not going to hog the paint and move it over to my side. You should not touch this at all. I'm also gonna leave the water cup right in the middle. That way it's not crazy business. So you have a few different tools. You have your painting, paintbrush, paper towel. Let's show you how they work. 
Even if you've painted with me before or you've painted in general, I need you to be clear on my expectations because I don't want any messes and I don't want any people exchanging germs. When you're ready to start painting, you're obviously gonna take your paintbrush, be very gentle with it in general, dip it into the water and start with a color. It doesn't matter which color you start with. However, should you mix all the colors together in the palette? I hope you said no. Now you are welcome to mix the colors as you please on your picture, but please don't mix them here. Otherwise you might be replacing my paint. So like I said, dip into the water. You're gonna start with your first color. I'm gonna go with this green. Just slightly, barely, barely give it some circles in the pan and you can start painting. Now notice wherever your crayon went, the paint will go elsewhere, which will be really cool at the very end. All right, I put a little bit of green. I can keep on going. I can get some more color. Dip and swirl. The more swirls you do, the more pigment that you'll get on the paper. So notice that that green was just a little bit darker, a little bit more vibrant. I like to just go in circles. Think of this as doing clouds of color. You don't have to do stripes. You don't have to do this any certain way. Now I want to switch my color. Dip, let it drip, then dry off. Just like when you get out of a bathtub or a shower, you have to dry your hair. You need to take good care of your paintbrush's hair. Paintbrushes do not last forever. Do not touch the hair or pull on it. Do not touch the metallic part or pull on it. These paintbrushes are old and fragile. I'm now ready for a different color, so I'm going to dip again, let it drip, and then go around the blue a few different times until I get the pigment I want. Now I want some purple. Dip, let it drip, and then should I go right back into the color? No, even though that these are cool colors and they look very similar, I'm trying to get y'all in the habit of cleaning your brush and cleaning your palette so that you don't mess up colors when we use more paint in the future because you are gonna be getting your own paint palette this year or you can use the one you got from home. But I need to go over these instructions so that you don't ruin your own supplies. So I'm going to dip, let it drip, dry off, get any extra gunk out. Then you can dip, let it drip, and go into that new color. I'm gonna go into that purple. Like I said, place this anywhere. You can mix the colors here, but you can't mix the colors here. I shouldn't see you going into every single one. If I do see that though, I will take away your painting as quick as possible. Okay guys, you are going to be painting the whole thing today. The what? The whole thing. So this whole thing is gonna be added and filled with color and it's gonna look amazing. So I'm gonna do a time lapse real quick, but this should take you at least 15 minutes. Go slow today, take your time. If you don't finish today, as always, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Like I said, you can go totally abstract with this. Think clouds of different color. It should look like, notice it's still wet. It needs to dry. I did not mix my colors. I always made sure to clean my brush and I have my paper towel just in case there's a mess. If for some reason your paint cup tips over and that's why I only put a little bit of water in there is that in case it does, there's not a huge mess, you must immediately start cleaning. If you need more paper towels, you know where to get them. Just look over here and I should have some more. When you are done today, you need to check and make sure that your neighbor is done. If your neighbor is not done, then you need to leave the water cup and the paint tray out. They may need it for their painting if they're not done. When you are done though, you're going to take your paper towel, double check, make sure there's no messes on the table. If you can, just get them real quick. You're going to throw this away into the trash can. You don't need it anymore. I shouldn't see this on the table. And when you're done, you're going to hold your paint tray with both hands. I'm not doing it because I'm holding a camera with one hand, but with both hands, just like a tray in the lunch line, you're going to walk the green arrows all the way around. And then you're going to head to the drying rack. This is where we put artwork to dry. Here's my rule. I don't like it when people try to put it on the top shelf. It's just really annoying to me and it's my pet peeve. If you could please put it on the bottom. Notice that there's something that needs to dry right there. I'm just going to put it next slot on top. And as people start putting their stuff on the drying rack, it goes up and up like a tower. You should not start up here. Then use the green arrows back to your seat. Like I said, leave this out if your neighbor is working. 
if both you and your neighbor are done, you must raise your hand. You must what? Yes, raise your hand if both you and your neighbor are done painting. If it's just you all alone, then obviously you and your invisible neighbor are done. Then I will come by and pick this up for you. Just leave your paintbrush in the water cup. And what my job will be is to put your paint cup into the sink to be sanitized and your paint tray back into my tray so I can keep it sanitized. Like I said, if you need more paper towels, they're obviously here for you whenever you need it. Be on the lookout for any messes. That's what your paper tells. A lot for. of people are going to ask me, what do I do when I'm done? You have one option today. You can do one free draw. The reason is, is I don't want people speeding through their projects. So all you can do is free draw. You can put your bag back on your table and do some free draw. We are at whisper level all day today because I need to be on the lookout to see and make sure that people are being safe. I'm not answering questions. I'm not chit chatting. I'm going to be watching and making sure that everyone is safe. I hope you guys have a fun day and don't forget to free draw when you're done.